Today we're going to be uh, uh, doing a, a short video demonstrating the use of the Compex Timberline double door latch. That makes it possible for you to have a cabinet and have one lock on a double door uh, with a latch either at the bottom or the top. And those, uh, uh, they will lock both doors with the use of only one lock. Uh, now you don't, maybe you have a really tall cabinet like a wardrobe uh, cabinet in and you want the bottom and the top to be secure, then you would use a double door latch, both on the bottom and on the top of the cabinet. Let me demonstrate this in a working sample that I have uh, to show you how that a double door latch uh, operates on, on an actual little cabinet box. In uh, this working sample, we're looking at the Compex Timberline uh, double door latch application. Uh, this is used uh, when you have two doors that close together, a, a cabinet like this one, or even a tall wardrobe cabinet where you would use the double door latch. At the bottom of the cabinet here, this is the actual functioning latch. Uh, over here, uh, this is an activator that activates the latch, and then this is the catch. So this uh, product that I'm using in this working sample is the Compex Timberline DL300. Uh, when you use a DL300, uh, as we have here, that means that the, the latch uh, is at the bottom of the cabinet, and then your, your lock for your cabinet is on the right-hand door. A DL300 down here with a lock on the right-hand door. If you prefer to have the lock on the left hand, then you use uh, the other configuration of this latch called the DL200, and you'd put it in here with a lock on the left. But let's say you have a really tall uh, wardrobe type cabinet. You want the top to be held as well. Whatever you use down here, you will be using the other, other lock up here. So let's take a look a little deeper into uh, this uh, double door latch. In this video clip, we're looking at the inside of a cabinet with the double door latch installed, this is a DL300. And I moved the lock down so you can see how the lock and the latch work together. So the, the lock uh, is attached to the door on the right hand side. And now the door is locked and it's not possible to pull either door open. However, when I unlock the door, this is a double door. Now I, I can pull the right hand door open and then it's possible to pull the left hand door open. It doesn't matter what order you close it. Now another reason I'm demonstrating this video is I want you to look at the travel of the uh, latch bolt. Um, on this door, on the door with the lock, is what we call the activator. And so it activates that uh, latch bolt and throws it so that it goes into uh, goes into the catch on the other side. So the door on the left side has the catch. It, it's important that the, you get the um, measurements right because it's nice to have this um, activator as close to the um, latch as possible uh, so that you get a good engagement uh, with the catch. So that's why we're going to show uh, some of the dimensions uh, in the next portion of this video. In this image, and in the image to follow, uh, we're featuring the double door latch of the DL300. Uh, the lock is in the right-hand door, and uh, the double door latch is mounted in the floor of the cabinet. Uh, the dimensions that are important to us here, with the uh, double door latch right in the middle, uh, the space uh, from the door bumpers, the little blue things there, to the front edge of that uh, double uh, door latch uh, is, uh, as you see in the dimensions on the right, 9 30 seconds minus the gap. Well, I opted for 7 millimeters minus the gap. It's easier for me to think. And then on the other side, it's uh, an inch and 3 sixteenths minus the gap. And I went for 30 millimeters minus the gap. Now notice, too, that um, the double door latch itself uh, is centered exactly between uh, the two doors there. If you look at the space between the do two doors, there's a little notch that you can see 
on the double door latch, and that's where we line up uh, that latch uh, for this uh, application. I made a real wild transition here so that you could see that a new drawing has popped onto the screen. This time we're looking at our cabinet from the front. And that little tan space on the bottom, that's the bottom edge of the cabinet. And the uh, double door latch, the, uh, the latch mechanism is right smack in the center sitting on the floor of the cabinet. And then off to the, on the right side is the activator attached to the, the door with the lock in it. And on the left side is the catch uh, attached to the other door. So now uh, look at these dimensions. Um, the distance from the screw holes uh, to the floor of the cabinet, they have 13 30 seconds of an inch. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand 30 seconds very good. To me, that's 10.5 millimeters. And, uh, and then on the, uh, again on the other side, it's the same amount, 13 30 seconds or 10.5 millimeters. So now uh, the real uh, uh, tricky part is right in the, at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, to the center of the first screw hole for the activator, it shows it to be an inch and 13 30 seconds to that first screw hole. In my mind, that turned into 30, 36 millimeters. Um, and uh, now I, I looked at the other side. Now, I thought they were going to be the same, but they're different. Uh, it's, it's not an, it's an, and what it is, is an inch and 13 sixteenths uh, to the center of that first screw hole. Uh, 46 millimeters is how I converted that. So you do what you want. If you like working with sixteenths and thirty seconds, well, that, that's fine with me. Now, I do want to point out that under the activator and under the catch, there's a little space there. And the purpose for that is to keep it from dragging when it goes, uh, when the cabinet door goes shut. So that's a real useful thing. I just wanted to point out these things uh, because the only trouble I ever had was I uh, uh, did the screw hole wrong on the side with the catch. I thought for sure that was going to be an inch and 13, 30 seconds. So there's the installation instructions on the, on the uh, uh, double door latch from uh, Compax Timberline. I really do like this product and I've got it in a couple applications in my own home. I, uh, I hope you found this uh, video useful uh, for installing this uh, double door latch. And if you did, give her the thumbs up. Um, subscribe, and uh, share with all your friends. And thanks for watching.